Oh jeez, a couple days later, got a new belt. Freaking extremely long belt, about um, 49 inches long. And it's perfect, it's got all the slack and everything I need. I think that's going to be doing pretty good, especially when it stretches out and starts to wear in a little bit. It'll help me out a little better. And I got my pulleys here. Here's my idlers. I think these are about two and a half or three inches. One's plastic and uh, one's the metal, both bearings and whatever. These came out of a. This one came out of this MTD. It was a back idler for that. This one came out of my other MTD frame that was a hydro. And I just bought the frame and that engine. So both our bearings are good. I have an idea of. How I'm gonna have these, uh, like one there. Here's like the engine pulley, and then one right here, and the pulley or the this belt run in between, and then this one will be the clutch. And I'll make everything. You'll get a little better as I get going here, but start uh, measuring everything out. I need to start drilling a hole in this frame, so I gotta like drop axle or lift this axle or something like that, but. So, drill from the back side and uh, start working. So I went ahead and just pulled the front axle. It takes three bolts to do it. Fronts just kind of slip out. Just made it a little easier on myself. Got these big old jack stands on them. So I can uh, work on it a little bit better. Well, here's the clutch I just made. I have my uh, bolts. I cut this piece of uh, eighth inch, I think, angle iron. Just the side of it. Welded the bolts on. There's one. Here's the other. I have some washers here. And, um, <coughs> the washers just uh, help out with spacing of these you know, the bolts. So that goes on like that. And, uh, this goes through the frame that I drilled a hole. So that goes up into the frame and then it pivots like that and then this is just an idler so I'll stab this thing all up in there and uh, show you how it works still need to drill a hole in the bottom I think I'll drill a hole in the middle for a linkage or something maybe I might drill a hole underneath the pulley there if I can put a pin or something in there but the linkage will pull this one way or another so yeah let me put this back under there so you guys can see it well, there it is under the tractor. You can see my uh, setup. And uh, if I pull this towards you, or try to do this with one hand, but there it is all tight, as you can see. And uh, yeah, we're on linkage like here or there, I'm not sure yet, but uh, <coughs> trying to do two things at once here. Just apologize for that, but yeah, it's this is disengaged. Push it all the way over, and uh, this belt floppy. Bring it all the way back, and then it's tight. So, pretty much, uh, this is an idler, and then this is uh, the clutch mechanism pulley. But they both work off the same bolt that goes through the frame. So. Next thing to do is to start linkage. I have a small idea of how I'm going to do that with uh, these things. I'll have two of them, one right on top of another one. And uh, I'll have a bolt that runs through it and weld these, say, like on uh, the inside of the frame, like underneath it, like that. And then I can uh, make weld a pivot arm on top or something on the bottom. I'm not sure, but they'll both like have like a lever over here maybe I'm not fully sure on where I'm putting all this because I kind of have a lot going on over here but I think that I want it over here um, I have room right here I can weld something just a short bar something to pull and lock I got all the rod ends and stuff for that so I'm gonna start working up that pivot point and then start working on linkages here's what I came up with I got clutch together a little bit. There's a rod end and I just drilled a hole. As you can see how close that bolt is, it's uh, pretty uh, pretty close. So uh, yeah, I 
was going to put this adjustable end on there, but, uh, I mean, this has adjustable too, but that pin would be in there. It would be a cotter pin or something, but I didn't want that flopping around underneath that tight clearances, so I uh, used some spacers in the washers. Uh, so you're going to have to cut this in half and weld it and readjust it, but I have all these points of adjustment. So I'm going to throw this back on the tractor and start working on the pivot point. Well, underneath here, I got everything in, and I got my rod cut and re-welded the appropriate length. There's that pivot point. I have a, a little bar coming off of it. It's actually a sleeve for the pivot point right there. A little bit hard to focus with the flash on, but... And then I have that adjustable rod, a little cotter pin. Come out over here. As you can see, that rod right there, that's just a sleeve, as I said, with a bolt. And, uh, yeah, I know it's not re re uh, removable. It sure makes it a lot easier just welding top and bottom. I guess if I needed to remove it for some awkward reason, I would, uh, it would just cut it and re-weld everything. But I, uh... Drilled a hole on this side and that side, and this side it just slipped onto the bolt that goes through the sleeve. Welded around that, and welded the head here. But this is, uh, as you can see, it's a good camera angle. Just by, because it's just still hot so fairly hot so that's right about you can kind of see the clutch right about there I'm pushing pretty hard right about there is uh how how far it's gonna be out so we're, of course I'm gonna get some more adjustable lines okay so here's the lever engagement lever I'm not sure what it's made of maybe three-quarter pipe I uh, I flattened the end and then I welded this bolt to it that I shortened and that sleeve that I cut up was popping that sleeve I cut up I'm gonna be welding right in there and as you can see it's uh, fairly close to the hood and uh, I can still kind of bend the pipe around but I'm gonna weld that sleeve in there and then I'll weld an arm off that for this linkage that I got. Got this linkage and I'll cut this linkage up and that'll attach to this. Maybe I should have removed the locking nut before I started welding. Interesting. Anyways, here's the lever. As you can see it fits uh, my exhaust because they are from the same thing that I got these bars from. As you can see it's about an inch off the um, hood here which isn't bad I mean it's not in the way I don't think tree a tree or anything is gonna hit it here's a sleeve as you can see down here this kind of gives you a better uh, perspective yeah it's just a sleeve and I come in on the other side with a like I'll have it that and I'll put a uh, nut on and I just use a box or wrench or something to put it on so it's pretty close so that's how it is give you a little more perspective but kind of lean forward off the seat I guess and uh, throw this thing forward got to work on a lever that comes off it now so I need to build something like this cut out a piece of this angle iron or something like that drill a hole through it I think it's a 3 8 hole for this end and cut up take a section out of this and uh, adjust it until everything's uh, all right and then I can show you how it locks and uh, it's gonna get loose the belt obviously is gonna break in just a little bit these Kevlar belts don't really stretch as much as the um, rubber ones but here's the uh, the idler pulley actually hits the frame on the other side but it's pretty cool it's as much action as I get out of this until 
the belt kind of works its way in or something like that. I'm going to put a uh, stopper so it don't eat up this uh, plastic idler pulley right here. So, I'm going to get to work on this tab now. Well, here's all of it. I have that uh, piece made up. I actually made it and then realized it wasn't long enough with all the throw involved. And I just kind of ghetto welded another piece on there. So this is a bar. I got my linkage from an empty drag link or whatever you want to call it. And uh, this has got all the ends and whatever. So I welded it. Probably should have welded it, like spread them out a little farther and welded them. I, I might have to cut it because I, as you see, I readjusted these. It's tight. I mean, uh, like here's all the way back. I can push it forward and get to about here. That's about where it's most tight. And you see I'm kind of having, you know, it's kind of hard to keep it still. So it's pretty, the belt's pretty tight about there. So, uh, but yeah, this is the whole thing working. Ugh. Anyways, I mean, it is, belt is fairly tight for what it is, I guess. Right, I mean, here's one finger. I could probably pull it out as much as I can. I can probably pull it out literally about that much. So, it does need to be readjust, readjusted. Um, I mean, look at that. So, these adjustment points just aren't um, adjusting as much as possible. So, I manually probably have to cut this out and put something in. I need to weld some round stock from this so it just stops right there so once I get to full it just locks so that's my design uh, welded at an angle like that so I can just take it lock it and then it's engaged rolling and everything's moving so um, in the next week here I'm going to be taking this case up to uh, uh, school and then cleaning it out with their pot parts washer so I can get this belt thing all figured out get this uh, and then maybe work on some belt guards next and then once I get everything like that worked out then I can uh, put that on and uh, weld the washers on the jack shaft for the spool drum and whatever and this whole thing should be working within the week so good progress good progress so thanks for watching guys